Hi, my name is Ryan Harrington. Um, welcome to my lesson on workplace injuries. What are they and how can you prevent them? So first off, we're going to go ahead and start by um, the today's lesson is going to be focused on the prevention of workplace injuries and what you can do to avoid them. We're going to start off by watching this short little video and then I'll, we'll go ahead and get into the content. Hello there. My name is Dr. Albert and I specialize in workplace safety. Now, everywhere I go, people tend to agree that safety is no laughing matter. But what if I told you that there was a way to give your employees proper safety training while keeping them entertained and interested at the same time? Sound too good to be true? Well, that's where the new Wrong Way, Right Way safety cases from DuPont Sustainable Solutions comes into play. Cool, huh? You see, in the science of safety, we believe there are two basic ways to perform a task. The wrong way, and the right way. When you perform a task the wrong way, it is dangerous, unprofessional, and can be life-threatening. But if you perform a task the right way in the workplace, it is efficient, safe, and meets with industry standards. That's why Wrong Way, Right Way takes both sides of all these safety issues into account. Forklift Blindfold Challenge. For each of these important training points, there is a short comedic Wrong Way sketch. Look, there's no wet floor sign. Showing how wrong you can go by not following the proper safety procedures. So what's the answer? Wrong. Each of the training points also has an informative right-way section that follows industry standards and teaches workers how to go about their daily tasks safely and professionally. Head protection found. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you know, we actually just learned some safe lifting tips on how to avoid injury. Let me show you. First, you want to take a balance stance, feet shoulder width apart. Grip the object with your whole hand, not just your fingers. Draw the object close to you holding your elbows close to your body to keep the load and your body weight centered. Lift by straightening your legs. You have to let your legs, not your back, do the work. Maintain your neutral back position as you lift and never twist at the waist when you're lifting. You know, being alert to hazards and protecting ourselves by wearing the right PPE may not be new concepts, but they are definitely the wave of the future. Right. Wrong way. Right way, safety cases, inform, entertain, and make sure that your employees truly understand the importance of safety in the workplace. Wrong way, right way, from DuPont Sustainable Solutions. You can trust me, I'm a doctor. Okay, who put this here? It's not funny. All right. Now that we've looked at that video, we're going to go ahead and go into some essential questions. Um, the first one is going to talk about how can workplace injuries be reduced and who is responsible for implementing preventative strategies. The second is how can you be more aware of hazards at your workplace. So going into that workplace injuries, the what. So what is considered a workplace injury? So by two, defi two different definitions, we're going to have the first one is by Heinrich from the 1930s. Um, he defines it as an accident that is unplanned and uncontrolled, an un uncontrolled event in which the actions or reactions of an object, substance, person, or radiation result in some personal injury or probability, therefore. And then Byrne and Germain also have a different definition by um, define an accident as an unintended or unplanned happening that may not result in property damage, um, personal injury, works, work progress stop, stoppage, or interference or any combination of these conditions under such circumstances that might cause personal injury. So let's go into talk about what are the top 10 um, workplace um, accidents in the workplace. Sorry. So the first one is going to be overexertion injuries. That would um, kind of include uh, um, injuries that are related to pulling, lifting, pushing, holding, or carrying, or even throwing um, objects or activity activities at work. Um, the second one was going to be discussing slipping and tripping. Um, this kind of pertains to um, pertains to people slipping on wet floors or tripping over something that is lying on the floor. 
Uh, falling from heights talks about falling from elevated areas such as roofs, ladders, and stairways. Um, they also might be caused by slip or fall accidents due to faulty equipment. Um, reaction injuries. Um, these injuries are occurred by slipping and tripping without falling. Um, so sometimes these in injuries cause muscle injuries, body trauma, um, or other variety of medical injuries. Um, falling objects. Those are also anything coming from off an object or dropped by a person that could cause an injury. Um, walking into injuries also happens to like um, concrete objects such as walls, doors, cabinets, glass windows, tables, chairs. Um, this could be anywhere on the body that could be considered that injury. Um, seven would be a ve vehicle accident. So say for instance um, somebody was driving a forklift or an auto that could cause uh, any type of accident, say for instance two cars hit if you're out and about. Um, also that's why this would reduce in um, employee safe training. Um, there's also machine entanglement which would occur with any um, heavy machinery, so clothing, shoes, fingers, hair, anything that would be um, moved into a machine. And then repetitive motion injury, this would, um, if you would do the same motion over and over and over again, that would cause um, for some type of hurt. And then the last would be the on-job violent accidents. These are typically um, the least common, but at the same place, say workplace violence injuries, um, any uh, um, office politics or uh, arguments that caused any serious injuries. So we're going to go into the workplace, what is prevention? So um, how can you as a worker be aware of injuries? So um, safety awareness kind of comes with safety um, inspection. So a comprehensive inspection check could be, um, for instance, helping spot or eliminate any safety hazards. So wet spots, cords on the ground, making sure that you help your work area free of hazards. So just every time be aware of your surroundings. Make sure that you know what's around. Um, assess. Oh, Sorry about that. Assess which work operations meet or exceed acceptable safety um, and government standards. So make sure that everything that you're working with falls into um, protocol, um, any um, government standards that they need to make sure that they're aligned with. Also help maintain product quality and operation um, prof profitability. So some practical tips while on the job. Um, that you could go ahead and focus on are be on the watch. So safety awareness. Um, means being on the lookout for unsafe practices or conditions in the workplace. Um, with um, know your surroundings, know what's around you, I'll kind of assess anytime you go into a job, look for the risks that you may be involved with. Um, know how to properly ha handle machine or equipment. Um, do the machines have guards on them? Does any of the equipment um, not designed, does it turn on and off by itself? Uh, does you, do you or your um, coworkers have you received a shock from any of the equipment? Um, these are some um, things that you should be aware of when you're working with machines and equipment. Um, when coming with materials um, and storage, make sure um, that substance, substances that are labeled flammable, um, co um, corrosive, poison, or acid, make sure they're in the right spot. And then also at work, you should have a material safety data sheet also known as the MSDS, um, which we'll go on further. Um, make sure if any of the ha um, materials are hazardous or toxic. Also, are any of the cylinders um, compressed with gas? Um, make sure they're moved away from your workplace in a sense. Um, hand, hand and portable power tools, are the hands, are your hands in good condition? Are, are the materials, there's no fray cords? Um, do all the electrical tools, are they plugged into a three-wire ground? Just make sure that everything is safe um, when you're working with them. Same thing with fire protection. Are um, fire exits, fire extinguishers, and uh, sprinklers clearly marked? And the big thing is to make sure that they're free of any type of obstructions. So lastly, we're going to go ahead and talk about housekeeping and maintenance. So are ladders in um, good repair with no damages or anything on the side rails, make sure they're just very um, stable. Um, is there a temporary storage kept off floors or the aisles? So, you know, cones, letting people know um, if there's spills or what have you. And then are spills um, and leaks wiped up promptly? So one of the last areas we're going to go into is uh, workplace procedures. 
So as an employer, when you're going to work um, for any type of company, there's a couple of things that they're liable for. So first off, they're liable for all the workers in the workplace. That means anything while you're on the clock, they're responsible for you. Also, if any incidences or accidents happen, they must immediately um, seek medical attention for you. This is something that is required as an employer. Um, also, they must provide any additional medical attention that you ha may have in the future past that. So, And then the biggest thing is to make sure they fill out all the documentation. So this is letting you know and getting almost you clear free that you've discussed everything with your employers, um, supervisors, or managers, that your injury is documented, therefore it's covering yourself. And then lastly, um, oh, sorry, report any of the work-related injuries, uh, they'll report any injuries, sorry, to work-related, uh, to the workers' compensation board. This is very important so that, say, for instance, your injury is so severe that you won't be able to come back to work. So, um, steps to occur um, when we are talking about an injury. First off, initial notification. Let your employer know immediately of any injury or anything because even though it's something that may come up a day or two later you need to let them know that if you're hurt that they will be able to document it and be able to take it um, actions therefore and then claim files that's for some reason if you are um, going to receive work in, workers compensation for any injuries that were severe that you will not be able to come back to work and then again another step from that would be rehabilitation which um, work will go ahead and they'll end up, if you get to that point, we'll work with you on what you need to do from that point. So that being said, we're going to go ahead and go into review and recap some things to remember. Um, what is considered a workplace injury? Top 10 accidents in a workplace. As worker, how can you be aware of risk injuries? Um, what are some practical tips on the job? Um, what are the employer's duties to you as a worker? And then um, what steps will occur if an injury does in fact happen. So what I want you to do at the end of this um, video, if you can go ahead and take the quiz for me on Edmodo, and then once that is done, um, I'll also have you post, be posted, sorry, I will have posted a summative assignment for you that you will work in groups with. Basically this is going to be a scenario video project presentation. So the project presentation is going to have you as a group um, Find a workplace injury, create a scenario, work through the different steps that I've already taught you um, through this video, and then come up with um, solutions for that exact. Um, so say for instance with a slip and a fall, you're going to go ahead and talk about the risks, you're going to talk about what happens during, and then give some, pre some preventative measures that you can... Um, you can move away from. So these videos are going to be five to seven minutes long and they're going to cover all the information that's been listed. So um, here are some resources and links for you. Um, go ahead and check some of those out. They will definitely help you with your project. And then lastly, we're going to just one more time, make sure you take that quiz on Edmodo and then also start your scenario video projects with your groups. Start brainstorming, planning, and then set up some filming time for you. Also, my uh, email is there, and if you have any questions, please let me know.